Jeez. God. The other person. Every day after I finish my guard duty, I have one other important job to do. I go to the photos recorded on the security computer and check them. I saw eight photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see. Come to think of it now, I remember throwing out one photo that day. Miss Obag, this is the first I've heard of this. Well, of course, Sonny, I just remembered it. Right. Anyway, Mr. Wright, please begin the cross-examination. Well, I'd say this was a turn for the unexpected, but I kind of expected this. <laughs> time to save once more. Yay. Third time on this lady. <laughs> this lady is a boss. No. <laughs> Better not be. She no, she's just, just started. Opponent. She's just the first opponent. Another job? That's right, I check all the people that passed by the main gate that day. I look closely at every one of the photos that the security camera takes. Do you back up all the security camera data? Well, they keep telling me to, yes. But those computers are just so frustrating. How exactly do you determine what isn't suspicious looking? Oh, you can tell by looking at their face for the most part. For, for the most part? The, this is a murder trial, Miss Old Bag. Well, I didn't touch the suspicious looking Will Powers photo, did I? I think she's missing the point. Well, who in the heck was in that photo you erased? A fanboy. Fanboy? Still samurai fanboys, real freaks if you ask me. You just gave me the answer who's in the photo, lady. They get information about rehearsals from gosh knows where. They always hanging about one of the one was there that day. Wait, wait a second. Didn't you just say no one else could get in? I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Those were your words. Well, if you must know, there's a train in to go into the employee area. She knows about it? The grid has been loose for a while. It leads outside as well as when they come in. They come in through the drain? I told you they were freaks. Oh, and... And? They're kids. Children. Whippersnappers. K kids? So, on the photo that you erased... It was a boy, probably second or third grade. What? Dun, 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 dun. Order, order! Let me get this straight. You saw two people pass by the gate on their way to the studios that day. One was the Steel Samurai dragging his leg. The other was a boy who looked to be in about second or third grade. Oh yes. Well, we see his type every day. Couldn't stop him. Couldn't catch him. A boy in second or third grade? Hmm. I assume it would be hard, if not impossible, for a young sam a young boy to wield the samurai spear. Impossible. I think it's quite heavy. Right. As I said, I didn't pay him much mind. That's why I erased the data. Um, Nick, what's going on? I mean, the boy was there. That makes him a uh, suspect. Yeah, and. They're already trying to unsuspect him. I'd like to take five minute recess. I want the defense and the prosecuting prosecution to consider this new information. And no forgetting vital information this time. Hmm. October 18th, 11.08 a.m. District Court, Defendant's Lobby, number three. Mr. W.P., 
Yes. Tell me straight. You were in, really in the dressing room. You didn't go into the studio. I, I didn't go to the studio. I was sleeping. Honest. So, who was the Steel Samurai in the security photo? How, how should I know? The Steel Samurai costume was off in the corner of the dressing room. Anyone could have walked in and taken it, really. What? You should take better care of that stuff. I, I couldn't imagine anyone want to steal a, a steel samurai costume. So, where does this leave me? It doesn't look good. You're the only likely suspect right now. Nick! Why are you talk? What are you... Okay. What are we going to do? First, we need... We play for more time. We'll start together some someone else that could conceivably have done this. Right. And it'll take them so long to shoot us down that we can't we can get other, uh, get another day. Right, but if we pick the wrong person we might lose on the spot. You don't sound very optimistic. I'm not optimistic at all, actually. Hey, Nick. It's time. Okay, let's go. Uh. What does this mean? Please don't start like that. I don't know if my sniffs are getting cut on there. That's about the best I can do. <laughs> right now. The court will now reconvene for the trial of for of Mr. Will Powers. Mr. Edgeworth, will you present the prosecution's thought on the matter? The prosecution's thoughts are simple. Nothing has changed. The other person who went to the studios was a boy at roughly 10 years of age. The photo we do have may not be hard evidence, but there's still no one else that could have committed the crime. I call for a verdict of guilty for the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. Very well, Mr. Wright. Your tough... Your thoughts? The defense disagrees with prosecution's claim. There is another person who could have committed this crime. Order! Interesting. Let us hear who you have in mind. However, be aware that this court does not look kindly on accusing the innocent. If you accuse someone who is obviously innocent, you will be penalized. Right. Great. As if the stakes weren't high enough. So, you were... Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna save during... The person you want to accuse other than the uh, Mr. Willpower. Yeah. Uh, the assistant girl. She was there the whole time. She was there the whole time, and she wasn't in the area, other area. True. And... It could have been the... Actually, it could be the boy, uh, because cosplayers that young age could actually take the spear and you know, try to kill the... Uh, bad guy of the show, if he's a fan of the good guy. That is true. So there's either A or B will be a good answer. Because children don't know from right, right from wrong. wrong. So it's pretty heavy. It is, but he, she erased the photo of the little boy, too, mm -hmm. sneaking in. Yeah. If we get it wrong, we get it wrong. It was the grade school boy. Why is anyone saying anything? Bah. Are you serious with suggesting the boy did it, Mr. Wright? Grade school boys kill veteran actor stars with a spear. For one thing, it was a stale samurai holding the murder weapon. Would you care to explain just how the boy was involved? Hmm, maybe that was a dumb move on my part. Maybe? Maybe? How about absolutely, Nick? Mr. Wright, yeah, I'm afraid I have to penalize you as I warned. 
Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Now <laughs> <laughs> uh, we move on. There, this fight isn't over yet. If you would, Your Honor, one more chance, please. Very well, go ahead. So who was the other person? The assistant girl. It was the assistant. The still samurai costume. She uh, was in his dressing room. She stole it, and in doing so, she became the Steel Samurai. So you're saying the Steel Samurai is in the picture is really the assistant? That's correct, Your Honor. If you're serious, you've got guts, Mr. Wright. Remember the photo? Wasn't the Steel Samurai a little lame? He was dragging his foot. Oh, uh, oh, bad feeling time. Remember the testimony concerning Power's injury? Power's and poor hammer were at the run through. Oh, and me. What about the assistant? Oh, her, she was cleaning a patch or something. She didn't know about Power's injury. Hmm. The assistant knew nothing of Mr. Power's injury. She could look at the Steel Samurai and look with the costume, but she couldn't walk the Steel Samurai rock. She would have. She wouldn't have limped. That kind of takes the legs out from under the case, Mr. R God damn it! Really? This is security lady then. Yeah. Actually, that kind of makes sense. Mm -hmm. If you think about it now, I didn't think about this. Yeah. Uh, so... It's not over yet. One more chance, please. You've heard this twice, so... <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to get them my strikes back. <laughs> Yay! He's cheating. <laughs> Yay! Loading. So I might try to cut these out with objection. The word objection or something. Yeah. It was the security lady, Wendy Oldbag. Who? The still samurai is dragging his leg in the picture. That means whoever was in the suit knew about the morning's injury. Injury. Maybe because they had been watching the action scene run through. There was only one person other than Mr. Powers and Hammer who knew about the injury. Oh. The security lady, old bag. You almost said my line. <laughs> what? Whippersnapper! Order! Order! It is true, old... Is it true, old bag? Miss Oldbag to you! Miss Oldbag was standing guard alone at the main gate. She was by herself. In the uh, in other words, she has no alibi. She ugly. Yeah, yeah, she ugly. Okay. <laughs> she could have briefly left her post to steal the steel samurai costume. Then slipped it in, into Studio One, the scene of the murder. Why would she go through the trouble of wearing the Steel Samurai costume? Simple, Your Honor. She knew the camera at, at the gate would take her picture. If she was in his costume, she, uh, she could point the finger at Mr. Powers. I see! Excellent deductive reasoning, Mr. Wright. Oh yeah, right here. Sherlock Holmes too, baby. <laughs> oh, <man. Cocky. laughs> huh? That's odd. Isn't this the part where Edgeworth pronounces Uh doesn't he usually jump up with an objection and some new damning evidence? Well, Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have an opinion on the matter? The prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. Huh. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> oh, so you won't be right there to decide it? Easy boy, don't just sit there and do something. What's my move? Maybe now's my chance to take the, take this whole way. I take this the whole way. <laughs> nah. Press further. <laughs> The very reasoning that makes Mr. Powers a suspect is in the case, in this case, can be used to cast doubt on Miss Oldbag's actions on that day. But, but why would I do something so horrible to poor Hannah? You forgot that Mr. Powers likes a clear motive, too. Hmm, indeed. That did it. Now, Windbag is one of the suspects. No hard feelings, I hope. Wait just a minute! What about the other person who went into the studio? The boy, the one whose photo I erased? He's only a grade schooler, though, as you said. Second or third grade, was it? That doesn't matter. When I was that age, I could pin my old man in ten second stops. Hmm. Your thoughts, Mr. Wright? That boy is not the killer. What? How can you be so sure? Oh, is it... Is it oh, be oh, nice to the kids and be mean to your whippersnapper... Your elder's days, whippersnapper? <laughs> your whippersnapper's day? <laughs> I have proof. Pa 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 woof Indeed. Then, let's see this proof, Mr. Wright. You have the proof that shows the boy could not be the... Commit the murder. Hmm, actually you might. What about... No. 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 Maybe. How can the kid get in if he doesn't have the card key? The vent. He can get into the employee area. Oh yeah, that's but right. But not the studio. Mm-hmm. The studio is where the murder took place. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the studio is where the murder take place. The scene of the murder, as we all know, was Studio One. However, you need a key card, card key, to enter yeah. Studio One. <laughs> How could the boy with no formal relation to the studios have a card key? I see. Well, would the witness care to com comment on this? Murph. Murph? The windbag. Speechless. This has got to be a first. Very well. The courts will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Mr. Edgeworth, please find out more about your witness, Miss Windy. Uh, what was her name? Something old bagger on her. <laughs> Windy old bag is her yeah. name. <laughs> Then the prosecution will look further into this old bag before we continue. <laughs> look further into that old bag. Yes. That's it. That is all. The court is adjourned. Stage clear. <laughs> For now. Wait a second! I'm not just gonna sit here while you run off barking up the wrong tree! Me! I'm talking! Uh, oh, great. Stop the presses. The windbag wants to talk. <laughs> Miss Oldbag, what is this all about? Have you omitted something from your testimony? Actually, if you must know, there's something I was told not to talk about. N not to talk about? By whom? Huh. You mean it wasn't Edgeworth who told her not to talk? Well, testify. My lips were sealed. Stage not clear. Fuck. <laughs> the Robo Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. There were some other people in the studio the day of the murder. They said they had nothing to do with it, see? So they told me just to pretend they hadn't been at the studio that day. 
Hey, come on, I got a kid in me. I'm not letting him get away scot free. Some other people at the studio. Miss mm -mm, Oldbag. This is crucial information. Why did you keep this from the court until now? Ain't you been listening? They told me to shut my trap, and I'm always doing what I'm told. No, this isn't a bad dream, Your Honor. Witness the power of the old bag. <laughs> Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Time to say once more. <laughs> I thought we were going to get out with it every part. <laughs> I thought so too, but this is a windbag. She has one last, she has one last super attack. <sighs> so, you were told not to talk. That's right, by the studio and the TV bigwigs, no less. Why didn't I hear about this? Don't be too hard on yourself, Sonny. We were all on in on it. Hit the button. <laughs> I had to wait for it to stop. Oh, okay. Who, who were these people? The director? We should have known something was fishy. How could they have done a run through of their action scene without a director? Of course. Of course. Yes, well, I was surprised no one asked about it. So, where were these people? The director was in the employee area all morning for the run through. He joined the producer around lunchtime and they had a meeting after that. Where? Oh, in the Studio 2 trailer. St studio 2? There was a Studio 2? Well, if you look at the guide map... Here it is. You go to the gate all the way to your left. The... The, 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 the path where the monkey's head was falling over. Well, Mr. Wright, would you like to continue the cross-examination? I think I've already asked all my questions, but... <sighs> Miss Oldbag, this is a trial for murder. I know that, silly. Still, they were pretty convincing about having nothing to do with it. And they gave me a little bonus on the side. So, you got a bonus and you still talked. Hmm. I think I've asked all my questions. Keep examining. I guess there's no harm in getting as much info as I can. Oh, that's the first question. Alright, yes it is. I just noticed. Why didn't I hear about this? <laughs> okay. So I think that's all of them. Okay, I think the second to last one in this one you haven't asked yet. Yeah, the pretend they hadn't seen him yet. So, they were actually in the studio? Yes, the whole day. When they heard about the murder, they beat it before the cops came. G I'll kill this woman, I swear it. I feel sorry for Edgeworth, almost. She really left him hanging on this one. Them? Who, who were these people? Well, we were the directors and producers for starters. The director? <laughs> I think we already... Yeah. We should have known something suspicious. How could they have done it with drugs that have actually seen that director? Yeah. Of course. I'm yeah, so surprised no one asked. <laughs> who were these people? Okay, so yeah, we, we asked this one already. Damn it! Yeah, you're too terrible. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think it was going loose. Oh, wow. Here it is.
Yeah, we can. I'm pretty sure there's no real evidence we can really push on this one. Mm -hmm. I think we really just do need this to take a break. Oh, you, you. Your Honor, we have learned that there were other others at Global Studios on that day in question. The director and the producer and er, some bigwigs were all present. Yet, as we stand here, they have not been questioned. I hold that it is impossible to declare a verdict on the defend on the defendant, Mr. Powers. Hmm. The court acknowledges the defendant's point. The prosecution will gather more information about the witness, Miss Oldbag, and more information about these other people we have just been told of. I understand, Your Honor. This ends the day's proceedings uh, in the trial of Mr. Will Powers. That is all. Courts is adjourned once more. Mm -hmm. Now stay clear. Thank you so much, Mr. Wright. Mm -hmm. I was right to ask you to defend me. Aw, really? It's nothing. Me. Oh, or should I say... We're... Oh. Uh, we'll be going down to the studios to do some more investigating. Investigation. We have to find out more about the director and the producer. They'll be turning up as, uh, in the next trial as witnesses for certain. Now's my chance to get material for the cross-examination. So, Nick, have we figured out just who is who it was in the Steel Samurai costume? Could it really have been Old Windbag? What do you think, Mr. Powers? I don't think it was her, really. Neither do I, Nick. Yeah, I know. Look, I was just buying time back there. Someone had to be the bad guy for a bit to take the pressure off Mr. Powers. Poor old windbag. I feel kind of sorry for her. Well, she wasn't winning any points in the in there with or without my accu accusation. Okay, let's get let's get down to the studios. Right. Well, we'll be back to visit you soon. Thanks, thanks, guys. To be concluded. Or continued. Yes. Okay, guys, this has been the Hill of Amateur. That will be two. And we will see you for the next case. Or the continuation of this case. Next episode. Most likely the continuation of this case. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> we will conclude this case next episode. Or just continue it because we got to do more observations. It's and then another in court the case. next episode. But then there's another court case. Okay, fine. Mr. <laughs> uh, again, okay. I haven't played this game. Well, it ends in a court case. Of course it does. So. But we're probably going to get to the court case. Okay, maybe. Or at least start it. We'll find out next time. Later, folks.